All right, here we have it. Almost three hours later. Originally, I was going for 80 thieving, but 79 seems to be enough. Uh, later on, we're gonna get the rogues outfit, but for now, we open the pouches and we have over 100k, which means that is a dragon scimitar. And that's not all. Let's finish our level as well. 79 thieving wonderful i'm gonna get a scimitar straight away i cannot wait to use it but then we're also gonna need to do the night sword get ourselves some mithril gear so we can then on go and get some defenders it's gonna be exciting i'm also gonna probably try to get myself a strength tammy things like that my favorite place let's speak to daga and let's go ahead and buy ourselves a dragon scimitar that's gonna be the task i believe and only a medium task wow i think that should be a bit higher than that oh it's 150 okay never mind that's that's a little bit better right uh, we gotta get 65 attack and strength uh, before we can even enter the guild i think i'll just do this on hill giants get the prayer level as well Right, climbing boots should only cost me 12 coins, okay sounds good, and I just noticed that in order for me to get a strength amulet, I would actually need to get 44 construction first, guess who doesn't have any money right now, I think I'll just send it like this, we look like an absolute baboon, but you know what, relic should carry us, should be lots of fun, and it will also probably give me a bit of money. Right, made some red berry pies, let's see if I burn them, I shouldn't really, I have 65 cooking, but you know, you never know, I made two, uh, I don't even know, I, I won't even be able to use the second one for the second quest, but I did it regardless, so let's go ahead, do the quest, should be lovely, especially since I can TP into Falador with just this, this is gonna be great. I know I said I'm going for defenders ASAP, but all I need to do is 10 medium tasks in order for me to unlock the next relic. And with the unlock of the next relic, we're also getting from 8x XP to 12x XP. So it is going to be worth the wait in my opinion. However, let's complete a very good quest. 48 smithing and straight to 56 smithing. Ladies and gentlemen, am I able to create my own mithril stuff right now? Not quite, so we might need to make steel stuff when we are finally farming defenders. However, I will go ahead and kill some hill giants right now. We gotta get a body talisman. I think this will be a solid place to train to 65 attack and strength. I don't think many people are gonna be here. And as I said, we do need that body talisman that is gonna come in very handy. We might honestly also get Ober Keys, which is also a huge task, so a lot of things we can actually get from these Hill Giants. And I guess we're also getting beginner clue scrolls, I'll do that. There it is, we already got it. Body Talisman, that's gonna be 50 points. And here we go, a giant key, boys. Obor has so many good drops for us, and I will definitely go for this. We're gonna give it a shot. Um, I'm still gonna stay here for a little bit, because this place is lovely. I mean, this is actually sick. The XP is wonderful. Getting prayer XP on top of that, and these keys. I can get rune items out of it, a lot of money. This could be huge. I am so excited, there are so many tasks that I can easily do right now, and uh, unlocking the new relic will be just a matter of a couple of, I guess maybe an hour, but a couple of minutes more or less. Here we go, first one, crafting some body runes, this one is 50. Uh, now I'm gonna do one that I haven't done last time and I could have, which is very simple. Completely forgot about the fact that this fella actually sells studded body and chaps, and that's a task, simple. Already all the way up to 37 prayer, meaning that we can now use protect from magic, meaning that we are gonna go kill Obor as soon as we're 65 attack. We have two keys stacked up right now, and this place is really nice. I, I've i always been a big fan of hill giants. They are such a nostalgic monster for me. I've always enjoyed killing them. The big bones are decent prayer XP. You get limpurd roots, a little bit of money, some steel items. It's not... It's too bad, it really isn't, especially when there is no competition. So, three more attack levels and then some Obor kills. If you guys are enjoying the daily uploads, consider giving them a like and also consider subscribing. I'm on my way to 100k and it would mean a world to me if we would get it. With that being said, let's continue on with the video. Either way, that was quite rough. Let's see what do we get. Ooh, 56 nuts and that's a task. 50 tasks completed, you know what, I'll do the next one another time, uh, perhaps later, 
Uh, I mean, I can just go, uh, you know what? Let's just go to Grand Exchange, reset, kill him again. And there we go, kill number two, and we get uncut diamonds, some rubies, and some bones. Not too great, but we'll take it. The prayer level is now 40, meaning that we can use protect from range. I think on Obor that would be maybe better, ju judging by the fact that I was absolutely railed earlier. However, 65 attack coming right up in a couple of seconds. There it is, 65 attack. This should be a 50 point task, wonderful. I'm looking for some easy ways of getting points right now because we are so close to another relic. And right now I saw that just completing one Falador lap is 50 points. However, if I do 20 laps, that is extra 50 points because I did 30 laps in Drainer. So that might be something I push towards. There we go, 50 points. Right, one of the tasks should be to kill a blue dragon. And then another task should be to bury a dragon bone. So we should get some easy points here. If you're wondering where I am, I'm actually located in south of Yanil in the area that you entered during watchtower i think yeah pretty complicated but i thought i needed a bunch of items to even get in here but no you can just run past the guards and you're completely fine you just run here yeah 50 points there and let's see if that's another one what was that oh it doesn't show oh no it shows 50 here again sick nice okay um 200 points to go all right that should be base 30 right there it is 30 runecraft and we get base 30, 50 extra points. Oh, we're getting so close. A very, very easy task. We pick a pineapple right over here. Look at that, 10 points. 54 hunter. Quickly buying an unlit bug lantern. Okay, and now I just uh, need to light it and wear it, I think. And that's a 50 point task for some reason. I think you only need like 33 slayer for it. So let's grab a tinder box, light it, wield it. 50 points. Crafting an emerald ring should be simple enough. And that one is also 50 points. Ooh, good thing that this adamant sword is only 2k because that is a task. I mean, I did have adamant axe at some point in the past, but uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to it. I, I yeeted it straight into the shop. I lost a bit of money on that one, but you know what? A task is completed. And I think there's just one easy task to go. Right, let's hope for... Um, well, unique. Unique would, would give me 10 points right here. <laughs> what is this, man? A short bow. A regular short bow, man. Alright, well, I guess we're helping the brother Omad to end it all off. He's gonna give us some Lorunes. And we're gonna have a party over here. But most importantly, we're gonna get 10 points, I believe, for doing this one. Some Lorunes are gonna be helpful to just teleport around. Can I please finish the... Okay, so the decision has been made. I am actually going to go with the natural selection and the reason for it is because Treasure Seeker was really OP in the leagues, in the Twisted Leagues, uh, mainly because it was locked to the Twisted League, like you couldn't get clues outside of it. Now I, if I take it, can get clues outside of it. I could have a lot of dropped clues. It can become annoying and on top of that, the area of playing is much, much bigger and I can get much better items from the actual game. I don't actually need clues for it. So I'm going with the natural selection. I think in this situation, it is a better choice. I do think the clue scrolls could give me a lot more content. Uh, but I think a natural selection is a no-brainer. We're gonna get a bunch of superior monster spawns. I think it's just, it's just too good to not take. So we're gonna take this one. It's going to be great. And we're gonna start going for our defender right after I click confirm. There it is. That's it. I've unlocked a natural selection. The next one is huge. We need 350 points. And we'll be able to also unlock Infernal Gathering. I'm committed to this one. And then the items are gonna be three times as common. And then the big last one from 12 to 16x experience. Let's start the defender grind. I lost a steel helm again. This is crazy. Maybe this is a feature that's meant to be? Right, well, I better get insanely lucky because this shit ain't cheap. We're losing steel helm every time. My god. All right, let's go. I'm also not gonna bother flicking or anything because... Oh, first defender. Huh. 
first kill, first defender. Good start. I think one task is as simple as just clicking a spec bar. Hey, there it is, 50 points. There we go, Iron Defender. Time to lose another Steel Full Helm. I even need to, I need to go make more. I'll just make every Steel Full Helm I can, I think. Because that's ridiculous. But we have the Iron one, that's solid. I just reached level 75 combat. That was 50 points there. Um, but as I said, we are going defense to 60, then strength straight to 99, basically. I don't know if I'm gonna jump and do more smaller tasks, or if I'm just gonna go hard on combat. We'll see, we'll decide on the go. Because the problem is, I cannot get... Ooh, nature talisman. That might be a task. Sick. I mean, look how cool this is. Like, this never gets old, the attack speed. It's awesome. Hey, there we go, 60 defense. It is time to get 99 strength. Sick. Still defender, and I'll still have some time left, so we can maybe even get Mithril. Huh, and 43 prayer. That should be a task. There we go, huge. 50 points extra. Not bad, not bad. Do I stay in, or does it kick me out? Let's see what happens. Nice, I stay in as well. Herb, how much? 7,000 for free. Look at this, 42 herb lore. I was informed by Twitch chat that Cyclopses are in fact a heal giant slayer task. So I'm gonna take tasks from Vanaka and kill Cyclopses at the same time. Right, let's see how this works. Let's put it to the test. I'm still hunting Chaos Druids. Uh, let's go finish. I only have 30. Okay, we've done the task. Can we now see how this whole thing works? So I just take heal giants as a task. Only just heal giants is your next task. You do not have enough slayer points to cancel it. Yes, and don't warn me again. What the hell? Oh, but that's bad though. See, 24 hill giants. I mean, I can do it, but I think it would be too much, like it will actually become a bit of a hassle, I think, to constantly do that. Perhaps I can choose the option where it doesn't look at my combat level and then I might get assigned more of them. I think that's what's happening. I think it's looking at my combat level. Uh, but yeah, we'll take the free Slayer XP for a little bit of detour. The problem is the time it takes to run there and then back and there and back. Yeah. I'll make it so it doesn't look at my combat the next time we take it. Ooh, look at that. Reach a total level of 1250. That is a 50 point task. Okay, so the steel actually degrades when you use it. So we're buying full black and hopefully black doesn't degrade, right? Um, legs for 2k, helm for 1k and then Varrock center for the body and we are right back in the guild. And I will eventually need this anyways, because we'll need this for the King's Ransom quest down the road anyways. So we're not even, like, throwing away money or anything. We just... We'll just... It's, it's gonna be fine. And we're gonna look cool. Then I can buy it. Giga Brain. <gasps> Got it. Nice. Okay, there we go. Full black. Let's get a Strength Emmy somehow. For that, I first need to get four construction levels. Here we make Oak. We go House. No! No! Now I can't make it, dude. No, you are fucking kurva, man. Do I, can I build it? Kitchen. 5,000! Let me get 5,000 gold, man. It's shit game. And then we build this and we build oak larder. And that, my friends, should be 50 point task. And we right click upgrade and that is tier 4. There we go. And now I can search and I can get Search here, maybe? Okay, we can get Apron from here. That's for a 50-point task. And then where can I get the Amulet Mold from? There we go, perfect. So now I can teleport to Crafting Guild, put the Apron on, go right through here. That's a 50 task. Sick. Smelled the ore real quick, and then we make ourselves a ruby amulet. Attach the ball of wool to ruby amulet, and enchant a ruby amulet into a amulet of strength. That's also a 50 point task that I was unaware of. And now look at the difference, the difference is huge. Boom, plus 10 milli strength. That is a max hit right there, that is solid. Uh, I'm gonna do a birdhouse run and continue on with cyclopses. Com slay 250 creatures, 50 point task, lovely. Uh, good thing we're just taking this for a task now, so that's quite good.
No way, it, it exists. Black Defender. Holy moly, you guys have no idea. Look at the stats. <laughs> 74 strength, already 47 prayer, and I finally got it. My god, I'm unlucky on this. But you know what? Now everything changes. That's sick. 80 strength. Can you believe it? Already 80 strength, and I'm only on a Black Defender. And we got 51 prayer, and we got 1300 total. God damn. I've killed well over 400 Cyclopses right now, and guess what? Yup, that's right, still on Black Defender. Finally! I thought it doesn't exist! My god! Let's go! I actually thought it didn't exist, I've been dry for over like 250 kills. Holy shit, now we're gonna get lucky, it always happens. I think my best way is gonna be... Oh, yes! Let's go, that's so huge! Addy Defender! As if, dude. There we go, that's the type of luck we need. Nice. Oh, yes! Nice, that's so good. That's so good. Rune Defender, boys. Nice, and now I don't really care if I go dry on the other room because I will actually be making money. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Nice. Let's go, dude. I'm happy. I'm happy. I think this is the only mithril piece that I actually cannot get myself. So we can pick it up and then pick the rest of the mithril stuff and utilize that as our way of farming tokens. If we need it, that is. Perfect. There we go. Mithril plate body. That should be a simple task. How is this an easy task? That doesn't add up. It's actually hard to get all of that, but wonderful. I'm actually gonna quickly jump and get some eyes of Newt. There's some easy tasks I can do, and then we continue on the hunt for the Dragon Defender. And the stat update, already 64 Slayer, 81 Strength. We are doing good. All right, all right. Rune Medium Helmet, that's an upgrade for, well, a while for sure. Very nice. Look at us, we look like an absolute beast. Oh, what? I got it. Let's go. See? If you just said, I would do it right after Defender. That, there we go. Boom. We got it, boys. Equip a Dragon Defender. 100 points. Hard task. I'll kill 15 more because it's my Slayer assignment. And I don't want to skip it. But that's sick. Extremely happy with that. I'm so happy. Let's go. We did it, boys. Nice. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you're wondering how my experience rates look like when I'm editing, well, they're on the screen right now. 1.4 million fishing, 130k strength and 130k agility. Very nice, honestly. Went from 80 to 86 fishing, went from 68 to 70 uh, agility and almost a strength level. Anyways, have a good one. I'll see you all tomorrow and I'll see you all on live stream as well. If you made it this far, consider liking the video, consider subscribing, and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.